everyone, it's Pete from Voiceflow. How are you doing? I'm here to show you a new assistant type that we've got. It's called Build AI Assistant. It's basically an awesome little playground that you have so that you can test out large language models. There's the AI uh, response step, uh, the AI set step. We've got access to the knowledge base, um, all the AI assist capabilities, all the AI generate stuff for your intents, entities, all that sort of stuff. So it's a good little fun little playground that you can have, um, that you can have fun with. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna create a cooking bot. We'll click on the build AI assistant thing. Then we'll go web chat, English and continue. Then we're gonna create the assistant. Um, so first up, um, when you get into the um, project, the thing that you're gonna notice is there's all this sort of stuff here. Really, this is super useful if you've never used any of the AI Assist capabilities before. It gives you an idea of how they all work. There's links to um, little walkthroughs and all that sort of thing. So if you haven't done that before, done this before, please go have a look. It's super, super handy. Um, but for this, we don't need them. So I'm just gonna highlight them all and press delete. <clears throat> so first thing that we're gonna do is go into the new knowledge base. Um, so the knowledge base is super useful. Um, Basically, you can add data sources. And what we're gonna do here is do uh, knife cuts and cooking techniques. And we can start going, we can add these as URLs. And basically it's gonna turn these into like a vector database um, and embed all the, the different parts of the database. And then hopefully um, we'll be able to ask questions. So first up, like, Mm, what is a Julien? So let's have a look. It's generating a response. Uh, a Julien is a knife cut that involves blah, 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 blah. So you can see, like, it, it is, um, it, it's, it's pretty good. So it's showing us all the sources and, yeah. Okay, so if we go into designer, now what we're gonna do, start with the AI response step. So we are going to go and welcome the user. So first bit, so welcome the user to voice flows chef bot. Ask them what they would, would like help with. Okay, so then what we're going to do is I can uh, show you all the generate stuff if you haven't seen this. So um, create a recipe. So we're creating an intent here and, and what we're gonna do is add a few different utterances here. So I would like to create a recipe. Give me a recipe. I would like a recipe. All right, so now what we'll do is generate 20 utterances. So this is super helpful if you are um, low on utterances, like say, say this happens to everyone. A stakeholder comes to you and goes, I need um, a flow for this um, and you don't have anything which says that you should build this thing, but hey, you've got to do it because the powers that be say that you have to. You obviously need some utterances to enter that intent. Something like this is super useful for that. Um, and it enables you to bootstrap your designs really well. So what we're gonna do, recommend a recipe, help me create a dish, blah, blah, blah. This all looks good. Um, <clears throat> so next up, what we are gonna do is ask the, um, the uh, customer what cuisine they'd like. So based on last utterance, um, confirm what kind of recipe the user would like. Okay, then now what we're gonna do is use the capture. Um, so uh, where are you, capture? And then we are gonna do AI response. Um, 
so we'll do that quickly and we'll go join that over here and go um, based on last utterance generate a recipe for the customer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this using prompt and memory so it can take the context of the whole um, conversation. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to up the tokens a bit here because I don't think 128 is going to be enough for a recipe. Um, and then we'll do it like that. Okay, so this is the first part. We'll have a go, see how that this works. Okay, so we're going to need to train the assistant real quick. These things always feel like they take way longer when you're doing a little video like this, but we, I'm assuming it's actually pretty fast. Um, okay, cool. We're done. Now, what we're going to do is run the test. All right, so. Hello there, welcome to VoiceFlow ChefBot. How may I assist you today? Are you looking for a specific recipe or perhaps some cooking tips? Let me know and I'll happily help you out. Okay, I would like a recipe, please. So that created. Oh, what's happened here? Uh, based on what have we got going on here? Let's go memory and prompt. Let's try that again. That was a weird one. And this is the joys of uh, large language models. So I would like a recipe. Sure, what type of recipe are you in the mood for? Would you like a recipe for appetizers, entrees, desserts? Um, I would like a dinner recipe. Um, maybe, what do you reckon? Italian? Let's do Italian. Could you make it Italian? All right, let's see what we get here. <clears throat> I bet you it does a carbonara and it does it with cream and, and we'll have like a thousand nonnas all screaming. Uh, saying that's not how you make a carbonara. That was a really bad Italian accent as well. Um, but anyway, we'll see. We'll see how we go. <clears throat> All right. No, it looks like we've got a, a chicken parmesan. All right. Cool. So we've got uh, four boneless. I feel like this is a very American Italian restaurant, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So in a shallow dish, combine the breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, oregano, salt, blah blah blah. Dip the chicken breast into the beaten eggs. Close. You know, it's done it. It's done this pretty well. All right. Cool. Cool. So um, that's pretty cool. How about okay? This time, let's look at going. Okay, start of this thing. Um, what we want to do is we want to maybe we want to add a I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think how we could use the AI set step. This is all live. Um, how about we do something so we enable a customer to add things to a list? All right, so add to a list. So we'll go to this one. Just need to add another one. So add to list. And then I would like to add some ingredients to my shopping list, add tomato, and uh, we'll just, we'll do it. ingredients to list, create a shopping list. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do now, generate 10, don't need 20. Um, and this'll do its thing. All right. Cool, these all look good, so I'll do that. And then we will go, uh, 
sure what did you want to add to your shopping list going to use the capture again and then what we're going to do here is the set AI so we will go capture items based on the user's response in last utterance extract the items and turn them into a list we're going to save this in a variable called list um, and then we will go um, No problems, I've added um, to your shopping list. Is there anything else? Okay, so we go listen. Uh, actually, what we'll do, we can circle these back. We'll circle these back so that we can kind of go back into them and maybe we'll, we'll do this all as one flow and we'll go from recipe we'll go all the way over into uh, shopping list and we'll see how this all works okay so we got these that's all nice so let's just make sure we got the shopping list we're turning everything into a list here that looks like it's gonna work we're citing the list. Then we're asking if there's anything else. All right, let's have a go. We may need to do some training. So we'll start with the recipe. Um, I would like a recipe. So I was wrong. It didn't ask for the carbonara before. Let's ask. Let's ask for a carbonara. I would like to eat a carbonara I think that's how you spell it apologies if it if, if it is not um, so it's taking a little bit to generate the the um, recipe as I as I think I mentioned before the more tokens the longer it takes to generate the response but because we're generating a recipe, we needed to have a, a few more um, tokens on there. Okay, sweet. So we have a carbonara. We've got six ounces of pancetta, garlic, egg yolks, parmesan, salt and pepper, chopped parsley. This, is, this looks like a legit carbonara. Okay, cook the spaghetti in a large pot of boiling water, doing all this sort of stuff. Okay, so I know what we can do now. What if you weren't actually that good at cooking and you're like, what the hell is a skillet? Okay, so what? It, let's see if we can hit the knowledge base with this. So what is a skillet? All right, what are we going to get here? So a skillet is a type of frying pan with slanted sides and a long handle. It is typically made of cast iron or other heavy materials and is used for cooking a variety of dishes, including meats, vegetables, and eggs. As we can see here, it's got the information from the knowledge base, which is super cool. Okay, cool. So we've got there. Um, now let's go over to, I would, uh, let's make a shopping list. Sure, what do you want to add? So, I don't know, what, what was in here? Uh, we got spaghetti, pancetta, um, eggs, parmesan, and you know, I've got a sweet tooth, so some chocolate. So no problems, I've added spaghetti, pancetta, eggs, parmesan, chocolate to your shopping list. Is there anything else? Um, no, you've been wonderful.
wonderful. I'm guessing this will hit the AI assist because we don't have this programmed in, so we'll see. No, it's hit the AI assist. So you can see here, this little AI assist was generated by the AI. Um, and that's basically, you know, a super neat little function which can keep the conversation going. Super helpful. All right, that's it for today. I hope that helped. I hope you're as excited about this little playground as I am. I'm going to have so much fun making stuff in here. Until next time, see you later. Peace.